Hey guys! Uh, so today I want to show you a quick little trick so you never have to uh, worry about colors on your website. Um, you know that everything on a website is code. Everything uh, in your content is a code. It's called HTML uh, and colors also have codes. You don't have to know all of them because there are uh, an infinite number of, of um, color codes. But there are simple ways for you to find a color code uh, for your website. All right, I will show you. As you can see, there are many, many different colors. Uh, and uh, if we take this sample here, uh, you have all the blues here in this area and the greens here, some pink and red, yellow, brown, purple. Uh, the black and gray whites. Each color that you see here has an HTML code and uh, you might uh, need sometimes to, to uh, know what the code is so you can use this color for your website. And if you're like me, you, you, you like uh, to have the exact color that you like. You don't want to use a random blue or a random red because not all reds are the same, not all blues are the same. And if you if you really want to be um, precise, if you really want your website to reflect your taste and it to have a, a really um, relevant atmosphere or feel to it, you, you are going to love uh, the two little websites I'm going to show you. All right, so before I show you the two websites I use, let me remind you how you can change colors on a post. Okay, so when you are uh, on your post and you wanna say change the, the title's uh, color, you, you have to go to this little icon here uh, with the underlined letter that says text color. You click on it and then here you have basic colors uh, if, you, if you like them, you're good to go, but if they are not the colors that you want, you can click on custom and you can play around here and uh, just find a color that you like, that is fine, it works as well. But sometimes you, you know that there is this particular color that you love and you want to absolutely use it for your website, you don't want any other pink or any other red or blue, you want that color. And to use that color, you're going to need to know its HTML code, which will be entered here uh, next to the hashtag here. You will have to enter a code here. For, for instance, on my other website, there's this blue that I use all the time and I know the code by heart now. Uh, well, I used to know it. What is it? Oh, it's... I think it's 187 be. Yeah, I use this blue all the time. Uh, so what I do is I enter the code here and it will change the color. Oops, I don't remember the code for this pink. That's all right. Okay, so when you need a specific color, you are gonna have to know the code. And how do you know the code for a color? I will show you, it's super easy. All right, the first website that I use is called HTML colorcodes.info Imagine that you uh, you found a picture and this picture has a color that you love. All right, so imagine that you, you, you found this picture and you love, love, love a color on this picture and you decide that you want to use this exact color for uh, say the headlines on your website or even the, your, uh, your text or your website's title uh, your signature, I don't know, anything. Uh, so let's just find an image and I'll show you how you can find the HTML code for this particular color. Um, all right, it's not really important. We are gonna take this one because I love raspberries. All right, the raspberries, right? Strawberry, no? whatever. <laughs> All right, let's take this picture and let's find out what is the HTML code for this uh, framboise color. Once you are here, it's free to use, you don't have to sign in or whatever, sign up or anything. You just, uh, because you are going to use a picture, you are going to click on colors from image. 
then you're if you have downloaded the picture you are going to have to upload it here so click the this button here and upload it open and then click on the show image because otherwise it won't appear here I don't know why so here's your picture if you hover the mouse over the picture you will see different uh, it will zoom in and you will have all you see here for instance I am on this area here and you have like tons of different pinks actually you don't see it from uh, when you zoom out but when you zoom in there are tons of pinks and here also if you zoom in you have different browns and here you have different whites actually it's not really white it's kind of beige uh, anyway so let's say that you want to use this pink like the dark one this one or maybe this one what you're gonna do first you want to click on the the part of the image that you think is the best for you to use oops and then you go here to this square here and you click on the the color you prefer uh, let's say that we like this one well it is the one already selected so you click on the little square that you like and it will give you the code for the color you copy copy and go back to your post select the text you want to color and then go here to the text color editor click on custom select this and paste the code that you just copied click OK and here is the new color okay let's take a different color because those two are a little bit too close let's take the brown Oops, where am I not here you want let's say you want to add some brown like let's click here and you oh I like this one actually oh no wait this one is nice let's click this go back to the post select the text click on text color custom and then copy um, I mean paste the code okay here it is okay it's very easy you can do this with any picture and it will always work okay now I will show you an, another website that I also use when I don't need a specific color uh, but I, I know that I want a green color or a yellow color but I'm not sure which one and I don't want to spend hours looking for an image that has yellow or that has orange so this other website that I use is called colorheads.com I love it it's awesome it's different but it's really uh, very useful very useful as well so how does it work basically you're gonna use this search bar here and like I said sometimes you know you need a a red color but you don't really know which one so very simply what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in red and it will show you a few uh, different reds and you're gonna pick the one you like best so you have a pinkish red and orange purple and uh, well this one is the most red but, um, let's say you want an orange red you, you are gonna click on it and it will give you the code here you don't want to copy the hashtag because it's already on WordPress. Simply copy the the letters and 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 uh, numbers. Copy. Go back to the post. Select text color custom and paste. Save. And here it is. It's not really red, but you know you get the picture, right? Uh, let's say you want some green. It will. Oops. No. Make sure there's no hashtag before, otherwise it won't work. Let's say you want some green, you have uh, some, you, you won't have all the greens in the world, but you will have the major ones. Let's say you love this one, you click on it, and then it gives you the code, you copy, and you paste it here, and say, and here it is. Okay, uh, let's get back to the main page. This website is really cool because you can also do a lot of other things, such as, uh, blend colors together and you can also uh, sort colors by name Air Force Blue, Alice Blue, I like that I've never been here there and of course you have all the the hex here that you can use uh, so that's it for instance if you know a color by its name if you know oh I want an apricot uh, I want the color code for apricot you love apricot 
you are gonna click here on the colors by name column and you're gonna scroll down until you find an apricot color doesn't really look like an apricot I would have said that this one is apricot let's say you, you like the bubblegum color well just scroll down to bubblegum and it will give you the coast okay either you write down a color here or if you know a color brand by name and you need the code simply click here as for these columns I honestly I've never used them so I wouldn't help I wouldn't know how to help but you can just play around the website and, and see what it has to offer well that's it that was a very short tutorial but there's nothing much I can say about it I hope it helps you in the future uh, um, find and use the right colors for your website and thanks for watching see you bye